Hear that? It's very calming. Hey, everybody, Scapegoat's back with a game called Timberborn. I'm not sure I'm going to turn this into a series, but I bought the game because I saw a bunch of people playing it and talking about it. So I thought I'd give it a shot and uh, just kind of uh, see what it's like. It's like a city building type game. This is totally out of my norm. I realize it's not car stuff and all that, but looks pretty cool. Let's jump in and see what's going on. You're beavers. So as a Canadian, I'm quite attracted to the whole uh, whole idea of there being beavers in the game. They're on our five cent piece on our nickel. Yeah, we got beavers, man. Beavers are a big thing up here. So I mentioned this the other day in my long drive video, I think it was, where I was thinking about playing this. So here's a shot. I'm going to do this as uncut as possible, just the beginning part of the game. Um, I fired up to make sure it works. I don't know a lot about it. Uh, let's uh, let's jump in. It's like a new game. There's two races to choose mm, from, but I can't play as this one because uh, I have to unlock that. Mm, so, apparently, I've got to play as the folk tales, who are easygoing but hardworking. Folk tales are expert farmers. They respect nature and reward them with plentiful bounties. Okay. So, then you got to choose a map. Now, I did fire it up once to make sure it works, so I got kind of an idea. It does recommend we play on the plane, so let's give it a shot. We'll play on a normal difficulty, and let's, uh, let's start this up. It does take a second to load here, so... Let's jump into it and see how uh, how well this goes. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. This guy looks like he's got Donald Trump hair. Look at this. <laughs> oh, Donald Trump's hair. It's like a, it's like a character unto itself. Oh, should have really leaned into that. You, know? you should always lean into the things that make you unique. Always lean. Okay, wait, okay. so here you go. You got little beavers. Look how cute these guys are. You can rotate the camera. Now, we're going to do the tutorial. I'm going to pause it. You can pause the space bar or by clicking one of these buttons up here. So, we'll do the tutorial. Every new settlement... Okay, let's try that again. What every new settlement needs are logs. Build lumberjack flags and place some trees in its range for cutting. All buildings used by beavers must be connected to a district center with a path, so connect the two as well. Build lumberjack flag times two. Build path times five. And mark trees for cutting. Now, here's the shtick about this game. As you can see, the water flows. Every so often, it becomes... I'm just looking around the map a little bit. Everybody, so every every so often, there's a drought, and all the water dries up, and it dries out all the land. This is post-human. This is actually post-apocalyptic. So the idea is, is you need to trap water using dams and stuff. So during the zoom this out a bit, during the dry season, you can survive. Uh, and this is the map I loaded before. So I think what I want to do is. <sighs> I think I want to like build across here with a dam and then maybe over here. And that way we can trap all this water for the dry season. Uh, even including this little area here. If I, I think I can break these out. So what we got to do first is build lumberjack flags. Okay. So we're going to build a path here. There's a path. Paths are free. You don't need to collect resources. I'm going to build it all around this just cause I can. Okay. So we need a couple of lumberjack flags. I think they're under wood here. Yeah. So here we go. So we got, Lumberjack flag, lumber mill, forester, gear workshop, paper mill, and printing press. So I'm going to build... Now, if anything has taught me about these games, the one thing I'm going to need is research at some point, which I think is this. So, yeah. So I'm going to get that as fast as I can. But I think i got to secure water first. Um, oh, yeah. We've got to mark trees for cutting, which I think is this. I did mess around a little bit. But I'm not real versed in this yet, so you're going to give me a break. And I'm not the best city builder game guy. I uh, I just like to, like, blow things up. <laughs> I, like, I do like civilizations, though, quite a bit. So we're going to cut these trees. I think that's all we got to do. Mark those trees for cutting. Now, what I did learn was that you're going to need water pumps at some point. But if you look here... Water pumps need to obviously go in the water. Um, it says I can't build here because I don't have any roads. But I, I want to build it here and here, I think. I know it's going to get rid of this forest, but I can replant forests, I think. And besides, there's other forests around we can get to, so I'm not super concerned about that. But just because they'll line up better there, as opposed to like here and here, they'll actually kind of line up here. And then... I can put water stuff in between it. Now, what I did learn when I was playing earlier was if I go to this, I can demolish these small trees for uh, for my own uses so I can make space. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring this down. 
Okay, let's see here. I think I'm going to have to leave it right about there, I think. Now, I'm just getting this all set up so they can build it right away. Yeah, like this. And then I'm going to put one in over here. So I need to demolish... Where is it? Dan? I'm sorry, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Give me a break. Okay, so I need to build a path from here. So I need you to demolish that, 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 and that. So I can build my path. I think... Actually... I can build the path like this, and that way I don't have to destroy these two. But how do I undo it? Sorry, I'm, like I said, I'm still So I apologize. Oopsie. Um, can I... Oh, there's the cancel button there. Okay. That can be uncancelled. Un uncancelled, that can be... Un and that one can be... But all the rest need to go. So we're going to do that. Get that built. And then a water storage system. Um... Which will be this. All right, so we're going to do that, get those cleared out, and uh, we'll just let the beavers do their thing. So, uh, so here you can zoom in. Each of them has a name. So this is uh, Javonico, <laughs> I think. Hmm, this, one's, this one's name is Shengus. Okay, they're all very old. Oh, here's a nine-year-old one. You know what? You can rename them, too. So I'm going to name this one Danny after one of my most common subscribers. Uh, or my common commenters, anyway. So if anybody else wants me to keep playing this and have their name added, comment below. Danny, do your business, bud. No, they do die. So, Danny, don't take any offense if they die of old age. <laughs> or, in my case, generally, I, uh, oh. You know what else I need to do? And I know this, too, because, like I said, I played through just a little bit of it. I got to get gathering um, stuff going on. Because this is how you get food for now until, where is it now? Oh, here we go. Until we have... Will it make any difference if I put it here? No, it won't. Okay. I'm going to put two in here. Two two gatherers? You know, one for now, and then we'll do worry about the next one. Okay. So they're building up these things, which are their little logging stations. Oh, we can continue the tutorial. Yeah, build a water pump and a gathering fly. We're on the way to doing that. So these guys are going to go down here and get rid of some of these trees so I can continue to build my path, which is lovely. Thank you, beaver. Who are you? Jav Javonico or whatever your name is. <laughs> Sorry if anybody's named that and I don't know. Come on, hurry up. Now, there is a speed increase, but I, when I first start playing games like this, I always play at normal speed until I get the idea. But I think we'll get a nice little group going here. This little colony started. Just, it takes, you're taking your awful sweet time there getting rid of the trees. Okay, there we go. So now we can just build that all the way over there. And then when, you, when they eliminate these trees, I can put the other pump in. And have a little bit of water storage there. Okay, so they're cutting down trees. This is good. Now, see these little dudes? Who's this guy? Javonico, man. You're just the busiest uh, guy. Shengus? Where's uh, Danny? What's Danny doing? <laughs> Danny, where are you, bud? <laughs> Danny, there you are. What are you doing? What's your, uh, you're carrying nothing. Don't, see, Danny, you're just not, you're not cooperating with the whole idea of what we're trying to do. So now they'll come down here. You can also, like, tis, twist and tilt it, and they'll drop those off to start building this. As you can see, the log number goes up. So when they get that all filled up with logs, they will then uh, uh, will then have water. And water's important early on. Now I'm going to increase this to four to hurry it up because that's how many builders you have. And you can get upgrades for these guys, apparently, because I was reading through all the little things. So like, for example, where is it? Storage? No. Um, labor. So if I buy this hauling post, your worker strength goes up by 100%, which means you can carry more things at once. So they start building faster, carrying more than one log at a time, things like that, apparently. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't know that much about the game. It just, I like city building games once in a while, and this one caught my attention. Now, this forest isn't very big, so they'll cut that down fairly quickly. But what I want to do is, uh, is also get a farm started, and I think I might put it right in here. Uh, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Like, right in this whole area here, because they eat a lot of food. Like, a ton of it. I noticed it. I played for, like, 20 minutes. And they had gone through about half of that food. So, but we need water first, because we have absolutely zero water. We also have one unemployed person who will start working this water pump when we get the option here. And this would be Danny. Danny's not doing anything. Danny's just chilling, man. Look at him go. 
He's happy to not be doing anything at the moment. So clear out those trees for me, guys, and then we will... Maybe we'll speed it up a bit here, because it makes me a little nervous, because I'm not that great at this kind of stuff. Oh, it's built. Is it built? Yes. Danny, now, is Danny working the pump? Danny works the water pump. Look at him go. So then this will store extra water. That much I know. Uh, for them to drink during the dry season. So we'll get this going. You can also change the amount of labor a day. I usually put up to 17 hours just to get that little bump uh, from it. But I want to put a farm in. But I'm going to need more beavers for that. And I also need to put in housing. Which I think I'll just put in this dry area. Because what else are you going to use it for? So they're going to sleep. Uh, we'll get the, that uh, water thing built. And then we will... Uh, We'll see how it goes. So that's what? 14, 15, 14 and 15. So somebody will come along and finish it. And now any extra water we pump, because this will store 15, and then this will store extra water out of here. All right. So let's pause it for a sec. Now that we got that built, what do we need? A log pile that we can do. I think that's under storage. Yep. Here we go. Okay. So I'll put a log pile right in here like this. Uh, it also wants a small warehouse. Which, oh, this perfectly will fit right here. Look at this. Okay, perfect. Um, and then, oh, we got already got a water tank, so that's good. So let's uh, let's do that. I think we need housing for our little uh, little friends here. So, now I can't build any of the big stuff yet, because you got to do research. You see that red number? 150? That's this. And that comes from this. But they won't breed unless there's houses. So we're going to have to build houses. And the, one of the cool aspects about this game is you can build on top of things, so you can create, like, towers. But you need stairs and stuff, which I don't have. Now, I only have 11 beavers. And each one of these holds three. So I'm going to do a couple extra. One, two, so that's six, nine, 12, 15. Uh, do I want to do 18? Do I want to do 18? Let's do 18 beavers, beaver homes. So now they'll build this up, but this each takes 12 logs. So it's going to take a bit of resource stuff so i'll leave it on half high speed here for now until it gets to the point where i can't handle it oh we got this done already nice now they got a place to store goods which is what do they store oh they're storing the berries in there okay excellent this is good okay so they'll do that and they're done down here danny's pumping man look at danny go he's got a little job doing his little pumping job good work danny i'm glad you got a job bud okay so now the other thing i've learned is that food becomes really scarce very quickly um, and so if we don't trap water one, we won't have anything. Now I've used, I'm going to use this, I think, to trap water, maybe, but I don't know yet. See, really what I'd like to do is build a dam across, you know, one actually, where's the narrow part? This is kind of narrow-ish here. Well, it's. Not really narrow. Because the dams take up a lot of resources to build. So if you don't... Like, we're going to need to save water. We have to. That's what beavers do. That's like kind of our whole our whole thing. So if I built out a... If I built across here, and then beyond the water pump, say here... Actually, right out here. This is a long one. though. All right, so we're going to try to do that. Because all I got is these dams that have an overflow on them. So we're going to do this. Now, it says I can't build it, but that's for a completely different reason. All right, because I don't have a path near it. They won't build too far off the beaten path. So we will do this. We'll bring this in like this. Like that. And then that way they can, Oh, yeah. And you want to build... You have to build paths across your dam if you want them to be able to walk across it. So we'll do that. And then I'm thinking... If I just do this... And then I could maybe build a farm in there. I think. I think. I, I'm not entirely sure how it all works yet. So, bear with me. There's a little farmhouse, and then we want to plant some plants. Let's plant uh, carrots. Okay. Put little carrots in here. Now we don't. I don't think we have any extra employee leaves for this, but I'm gonna put this on the priority because I want them to build that first. This is your construction priority. So, if you put it up there, they'll do that thing first because this takes 25 logs, and each one of these takes 20. These little things here. Yeah. So building a dam is, is really a lot of work. Um, 
and a lot of resources. But I want the house done first because growing food is a very big concern. And it should be something to take seriously right off the bat. Now, it's just nighttime, so they're not going to be doing too much at the moment. See, I'm always a little weird about recording games like this because I don't know... I don't know how to. <laughs> like, recording a first-person game, that's easy. But this this is a whole different thing. So I don't know how the editing is going to work on this or if I'm just going to put up as one big episode so you can see everything. I'm just watching my beavers do their thing. They're filling water right now. Right, oh, yeah, so this is getting built. We don't have a ton of extra logs, but we only have two people logging, which is the reason why. But it's going fast enough where it's not causing too much of a problem. Come on. There you go. We got 17. Oh, you need a drink, bud? Okay, yeah. So sorry it's so fast, but I don't want to make this video two and a half hours long while I do this. Oh, you got nothing to build, bud. You got to go get those logs. There you go. Don't wait outside that thing. Danny, you pumping? Yep, Danny's pumping, but now he's full. So that means we can build another water storage thing um, eventually, but I'm hoping. Oh, the farmhouse is done. Nice. So they can finish up these. These little houses here on the night. Because this is going to... About day 10 to 15, this usually turns into a drought. I think. I didn't get that far. So I, I don't I don't know. But we're, we're going to figure it out. I've watched a couple videos of people playing and that seemed to be the deal. So... No, they're all sleeping. So everything's boring right now. Oh, they're awake. Okay. So back to working on this. We're going to run out of trees very soon. But uh, there's stairs here so we can get these trees as well. So I'm not super worried about it. Here we go. Come on. Build this up. I need this. I want this completed so my beavers aren't sleeping outside every night. Oh, they're already planting. Good. We got another beaver? Where did we get the extra beaver from? Oh, someone grew up. That's right. Look. Taraka has grown up and Googbum. <laughs> Googbum? Googbum? All right. So we can now house nine of our people. So he's going to plant them carrots, which will be great. But if we can't trap water, that's all going to dry out. And that's not cool. Oh, come on. Are you just about done this yet? Okay. okay. Everybody's gonna, everybody gets to sleep except for some of the beavers have to sleep outside. And that's not cool. That's not cool. Everybody go to sleep, please. Okay, there we go. So everybody's sleeping. We also got this little forest down here, but I think I'll save it for later. I'm going to just start building a path to this next forest. Because why not? Okay, and then we will, we don't need a lot of stuff up there because we can just put the little uh, gathering places there when this one eventually runs out. So are you guys building any of the dams yet? Is that what you're doing? Oh, no, not yet because you're still building the houses. That's why. Come on, get it done. So now we have housing for everybody, but this will give us extra housing for Bubba's and because we can have babies and they will become other members of our little group here. Danny's there, but there's nothing to do because he can't fill up any more water stuff. Now, storing water does not use for watering your crops. Storing water is just for drinking, which I also think that I might prioritize two more of these before I build my dam. Because in the off season, when it's dry, I want to make sure I have enough drinking water. And if I haven't dammed this off yet by then... Uh, it will have nothing to pump, and we'll have to rely on these 45 water that this whole thing holds. And that's not a lot of water. How close is this? Oh my god, we're just about done that. But we're also just about done with this forest, so we'll see how it goes. All right, excellent. All right, so, you're, oh, you're building this now? Good. So we'll get these built, and then we'll move on to uh, building the dam as fast as we can. Because I don't think we're going to get it done on time. Which means everything's going to dry out for a couple of days. Now the first droughts don't look that long. I think they're like just a couple of days. But again, this is just based on what I've read and saw. So I don't know. Okay, there we go. Now we can store even more water, see? Now we got to just finish up that one. And then we can work on our dam. Now the dams take a long time to build. Um, so I'm hoping it all goes well. How much has that got? Okay, it's got nine. So we should be able to finish it up. It's got 11. We should be able to finish that up the next day. And that'll let us store a bunch of water in case our people don't dehydrate to death and die of thirst. Because <laughs> that actually happened in the first game I played. I think it was about, God, three, four minutes in. 
I was kind of milling about, you know, leaving the game running without pausing it, going like, okay, I'm trying to figure this out. And my people all started dying. And I only had two beavers left, so I quit that game. But that's that's my... Oh, here we go. Did you build it? Oh, you did. Good. Here we go. Now Danny can do his little job and fill these things up with water. And now we can get to work on the dams. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time uh, to build this up. But if we can get the dams up, we are stable. Hopefully. <laughs> because now they're going to have to, when they go lumbering over here, they're going to have to wander the wood all the way down, which will take a while. Because you can get people to haul. That's all they do is they haul wood and supplies around. But I don't have that technology yet. Which reminds me. Um... We have as many people as we can have here, right? Yeah, okay. We should probably get some science. Oh, this is continued. There's a tutorial. The beaver should survive for a while. You can start thinking about building fires, producing power, and generating science ports. Good luck. Okay, so this is a science place that you will need to generate science points, which I'm going to put here. Uh, it only takes 12 logs. Maybe I'll make that a priority so we can get some science going. And then we'll finish up our dams, because this only takes 12 logs, so this should be done pretty quickly. Did they get one done yet? Oh, they did. Good. Okay. So we're prioritizing that. This is going to run out of stuff soon, right? Oh, no, it's still got the ability to get there. Do we have it harvested set for cut? Yeah, okay, we're fine. All right, so this should be built soon, and this one unemployed person will go work in science. There we go, and then you'll see one little beaver run in, and then, yeah, now we start generating science points, which you can see here generate three every, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. And you'll see it pop three. And that way we can build other things. And also there's there's power and water wheels and Lord knows what all. So, oh, they're harvesting carrots. Good work, guys. Oh, what's this? Your beavers are happier than ever. You've reached a new well-being high score. Nice. All right, what are we building? Oh, yeah, here we go. We're building this dam up. Because the dam is going to be important at some point. It does take a long time to build dams, so I do apologize if you're bored. Like I said, in the future, if I record any more of this, if you guys want to see it, maybe I'll cut out some of the, the long-term building stuff or do um, like, uh, like high-speed recordings. So you can watch stuff happen at an accelerated rate. But for today, I just wanted to see what it's like to record something like this. They're actually making pretty good headway here. But it is day nine, so that, that, that drought's coming. That drought is going to be coming fast. But they're, they're getting there. But it's a slow speed game. It isn't like super speedy, speedy, quick, like, say, like, I don't know what other city, like Sim City, you can just plow through stuff, like, really, really fast. Or um, what is that other game? That city builder game? S city Skylines? Same thing. You can just, like, place a bunch of stuff and have things happen at an accelerated rate with nighttime and stuff you know i'm gonna give him an extra hour work a day sorry guys just till the dam's built because if we can dam this off this is actually got a it overflows so the water can only you can see it kind of from there it overflows and allows you the water to stay here until it drops below a certain level and then it'll uh flow over top of it There we go. Come on. All right. Is that done? Oh, that's good. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is already working on this one. Nice work, boys. And the trees are regrowing. Some of the trees regrow. Uh, you can see them here. Like this one is 81% completed growing. And you can replant trees, but I think you need a you need something called a forester to replant trees, and I haven't gotten that yet. Oh, that's so close. Oh, it's 20. It's, oh, there we go. Nice. This is actually going along quite well. I'm super impressed by this. And our science has got 36 science, which is great. Because I want to get stairs, and that takes like 70. Oh, here we go. Go get those trees, bud. Oh, look at them go. They're just... This is the best start I've had. And I've tried the game twice now, and I've died really fast. So, this could end up in death, just to warn you. We could all end up dead by the end of this. Come on, guys. Get her done. You're working 18 hours a day to do this. I know it's probably not making you very happy, but it's very important to get done. Danny, you pumping? No, oh, you are pumping. Good for you. All right, are you guys... Oh, you're close to getting this done. Come on. 
Yeah, and they build it too, like along the way. Like they're like build it up to that point. So it's kind of, but I like these type of games a lot. Oh, that guy's thirsty. Go get water. Now, sorry it's in fast speed, but like I said, I don't think anybody wants to watch me do this for two and a half hours while the beavers walk slowly around. It is, it is, because, uh, so I think what we're going to do, though, is dam this off, and that'll make us stable, and then we'll work on building, like, a reservoir somewhere. I'm not sure how it works exactly. Like, this would actually, this whole area would make a good reservoir, because if you flooded it up to there and blocked it off down here and then built over in, like, this area, you could really uh, create a giant reservoir that way. Or if y'all moved to this island and then flooded the whole thing, you could create a really big reservoir. And the beavers can walk underwater because they're beavers, so you can send them swimming across the water. Oh, you guys are doing great, though. You guys are doing great. Are you out of trees? Is that what happened? Oh, you're out of trees. Oh, not quite out of trees. But this tells me I should pause it, and I'm going to go to the wood gathering thing and put up a couple more flags, but I'm going to put them here. And then when they're done hauling down all these trees, I will pause these and they'll go over there to work on that. So I think that's good enough for now. Uh, they'll still pull logs out of the storage part of it. But now someone's got to build this for me. So hurry up and build these. There you go. Now. Why is there a, a weird beaver above that? What is going on? Oh. Oh, yeah. Forgot. I got to uh, set the cutting trees part. So I'm going to put all these trees to cut. And all these trees to cut. And these ones if they can reach them. All right. There we go. Is that better? I did mark them to cut, right? Oh yeah, we're good. So they'll start cutting down these trees instead, and then we'll that way we have a constant supply of lumber. But the builders now have to run a hundred miles every time they build something, which sucks for them. Where are you going with this? Oh, they're starting down here now too. Excellent. I'm not sure if they just pick whatever's closer or what. Like it seems to be they build in the order of what was done first. But I don't know. So, and that gives us a chance to start regrowing a bit. Come on, you're just about done this one. And then you all can concentrate on the same thing. All right, so we got two unemployed people, although I'm not sure why. But it must have been grown-up people. Yep, grown-up and grown-up. So, my other option is I could create more lumberers to make this process a bit faster. Or I could find another building to build. Oh, you know what, actually? This is uh, entertainment for them. I can put it right here. We'll put that in because that doesn't take that much. But we'll worry about that after our stuff's built. So I think maybe a couple extra woodcutters um, might be best just until I have the wood. I would like to put more builders in, but I can't. You can only have to four until you uh, out level up or something. So... Let's put in uh, a lumberjack flag, and then another lumberjack flag, and this this will they'll chew through that forest really fast. But it'll give us more logs faster to get this done with. Although we're we're, we're collecting logs at a pretty good clip here. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it though. I think uh, I think we're gonna run out of resources in time. <laughs> Unfortunately, and not be able to trap that water. Yep, there it is. Three days. You got three days to finish building this thing. So we're going to put you on for 20 hours a day, and hopefully that helps. Because I'm getting worried. <laughs> I'm getting real worried here. So this side of it's completed. Now we just got to get this side completed. And it's good. They got a constant flow of lumber, which is excellent. Because this is still going up. So this is good. How do we have two unemployed people? Did I have more babies? Did I have more bubbas? You know what then? Let's um 
let's put a couple lumbers in here. Again, we can delete all this later when we're finally stable. And I'm going to cut them to cut down these trees. Look, deforestation. Exactly what I love. No, I don't like it. Don't deforest. It's terrible. Okay. So come on, build that up. Build it up. Okay, just, just get her done. Get her done. Why is nobody building that? These need to take priority. There you go. It doesn't take any resources to build this as far as I know. There we go. So they're done. So now these two new people have a, a purpose. <laughs> We're never going to get this done. Come on. Although that's at 10. We still have two days. And now that we're lumbering right here, they can grab lumber from here to build from here, which is nice. See? They can do it. They can just grab and go. Nice. Okay. And they can also get lumber elsewhere when those when they've used up all those logs. This is great. Okay, here we go. Got that done? Oh, this is already at three. We're never going to make it, but that's all right. Okay, come on, baby. So yeah, we're going to block this off, and that will leave this pool of water here. It'll still get used up and slowly dry out, but at least it'll have uh, some measure of, of water for a short period of time, so we can still weather the storm, as to, so to speak. It's going pretty quick. Like, being able to get this wood right from here has been helping quite a bit. And each one of those trees gives two logs. Birch trees gives one, and then... There's another tree, like a maple tree, but I haven't had any of those yet, so I don't know. I think they produce like four or eight. But yeah, this is this is the game, and uh, like I said, not the most interesting thing to watch, I know, but oh, little, look at the beavers coming to it. Let's, come on, finish it up, guys. you got a whole day. Come on, you can do this. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, it's completed. Okay, this is good. Well, if it doesn't work for this cycle, at least we'll have it for the next one. Because we got half a day left, and we still got more than half of this to complete, so. Did they complete that already? Oh my god, that was fast. That was really fast. Okay, this is good. Look at this. You're just plowing through this? Oh, nice work, boys. Or ladies. I don't know. I'm not sure. Are all beavers boys? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Do they make beavers from eggs? Is, this, is it a beaver egg situation? I, I don't have any clue. I don't have any clue. Our gatherer is gathering. We have a little bit of food. But see, this water will also keep this green because when it gets... Oh, geez. We're going we're gonna to run out of time here. Come on, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here comes the drought. And when it droughts, all the water starts drying up really fast. And we still got 40 logs to carry. That's not good. Okay, come on. Hurry up. It's a four-day drought. There's still water here right now, boys. Come on. Oh, they're not going to make it. They're just not going to do it. Now, a four-day drought isn't the worst, but it will kill the crops uh, in a couple of days, I think. Because the forest, the, I've seen it before, and it, the trees take days and days and days to dry out. But, okay, come on. Do it. Do it. The, the water's going to dry. Oh, it's already dried up there. Come on. Oh, and they're not going to do it. Oh, well, that's fine. Means one one couple of days without water is not the worst. We do have drinking water, which is nice. They're so close to finishing it, though. See, the thing is, is the more you block off, the longer it takes for it to drain. Or to dry up, right? So we might actually be able to save some of the water here. Come on. I just need you to just get nine more logs, boys. That's all we need. That's what? Okay, four. And then five. Six. We need four more. Oh, come on. The water's getting lower and lower. You can actually watch it getting lower. <laughs> Oh, did they finish it? Oh, they did. Perfect. Okay. So this will now hold water. As you can see from this side, the water is not high enough to flush or flush, slosh over the edge. So that makes us stable because it keeps us green. And uh, 
keeps our crops all the okay, why, why are we on this? Get get off of this. All right, let's get the rest. There we go. So that keeps that stable. The water's here now. And now this allows us to uh just kind of exist here and kind of weather the storm for the for the drought. See? See? I have plans. I, I have options. Now we're we're desperately out of trees at the moment, but at least we got that far. And in the time we did that, look. Look at this. We have science points. So my favorite thing that I've always wanted is this. The Forester. I'm going to unlock it. Now, I think this takes different reasons. This needs something called planks. Well, I know what planks are. So, we need to have a lumber mill, but that's going to take electricity. Um, And it needs flowing water, which we don't have. Or actually, you can actually power it without flowing water. Actually. I think. I wonder if I just put it here. I wonder. Actually, I kind of want it on the water. Or do I? Oh, I don't know. Because it needs flowing water, so that means it's only going to work during when it's running water. But you can power it alternatively. With... A hamster wheel. <laughs> Check it out. Look at this. Science power. Look at this. Power wheel. Look at that. It's a hamster wheel. And it's exciting as heck. So if we have 15 logs, yeah, we got lots of logs. So let's build that up. We'll build up the hamster wheel. That'll let us to build allow us to build planks. Which also means I should put wood nearby, because you have to get wood to it, I think. Yeah, because it takes it takes it actually takes logs if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so that's up and running, but it has no power. So now we got to build a crazy hamster wheel, which is then powered by one hamster, or one beaver. Now, is there somebody in there working? Yeah, so we still have two unemployed people, which is excellent, because that way, I think, I think I'm going to turn this into a forest, I think. At least for now, because, where's my forester thing okay wood because if i put this in the corner here right like that and then i can go to this and plant trees i can plant 12 days to grow nine days to grow but this gives us two logs per so i'm gonna get this now obviously i can't plant on the, the gross ground but i can plant like this see how that works and then we have lots of trees and we can then reclaim this stuff to build more farms because I want to put in a, a potato farm. Well, those are paused. This is running out of wood here. Okay, this is good. Do we get a hamster wheel built? Oh, you need to get a path to it. Got it. Okay. There. Does that does that allow the hamster wheel to spin? Who's working here? Hype to. Hip to. Yeah, see, <laughs> then, then he makes planks, which will then allow us to build this, because we only need seven planks for that, but we're going to wait till the next day. So let's get that done, and then we'll uh, we'll end the episode there, because then that's a good spot, because then we're stable, shelf stable like mayonnaise before you open it, and it'll be it'll be great. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to leave these berry bushes in place for now, because um, we need berries from time to time. But now we got these trees, which should be growing. Oh, yeah. So we got seven planks. They're working here. I'd like to do a water wheel because it's you don't have to waste a beaver for that. But we still have one unemployed beaver. But they're going to be the ones running our forestry center, which will turn out great here just in one second. So, they, yeah, I apologize. This is my normal type of game. I just really thought this was neat and wanted to uh, to show it off because I, I think it's a cool game. Is this done? Oh, it's done. Nice. Okay, now look. This little beaver. Look at this little beaver. Who are you? Zabajan, go get him. Zabajan, go get him, bud. Plant those trees. Save the environment. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here. Let's put it down back to normal speed. Sorry about the fast speed, but I just wanted to get an episode out. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see, let's get through the night. This is this is stupid. If you want to see more of this, uh, please tell me and I will, I will do that. Or skip the night sequences or whatever, because I usually just fast forward through the night because all the beavers just socialize and sleep. So... If you're into that, tell me. If not, uh, make a comment below. Either way, you know me. Love every view I get. 
Scapegoat? Please, please don't play with my beaver without asking first. Out.